Good morning, afternoon, or evening, or wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here, uh, another Noob Flights. This one we're going to be looking at Telluride, Colorado. Uh, we'll take, on a, uh, take off in a minute. I'm still smoking a cigarette. We're going to be in a Cessna 152 today. Top outside. Don't want to. I don't want to smoke in here. If you don't like smoking, so. So let's look around Telluride. Why Telluride? Well, you know, a lot of movies, movie people like coming here. You know, it is gorgeous. Sobo made sure to put in this particular airport. It's in the airport. It's in the content manager. KTEX. So, take a good look at taking a good look around KTEX. Uh, using the drone. I love it. I love the drone. I didn't, you know, as I'm, you know, I'm older person, so, you know, new stuff. Meh. Drones. Uh, and I'm so happy that I've taken the time to set that up on my number pad, mostly on my number pad, and I'm getting used to it, and I love it. For exploring, it is the best. I think we got some drainage ditches over there. Very nice. There's our windsock. I've noticed they don't have any uh, lit windsocks. I haven't seen any. I'll keep looking for them, but at certain airports, you're looking at their airport information, it says illuminated windsock. As opposed to an unilluminated, the unacademic wind socks, the uninitiated. I don't have everything up as high as it can go. If you have a better system, you're probably going to enjoy this much more. I don't have trees set to ultimate. Uh, if you stick around to the very end of the video, I will do my best to switch everything to ultra maybe do a quick little restart and uh, or at least just set it and see what we get but right now I've had to find the fine line between recording and being stable here and try to avoid the encoder overload errors uh, it also looks better the closer you are so you know using our drone camera from the runway here uh, we're not right on top of it, you know, so uh, it, the draw distance, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but you can do some wonderful things, and, um, you know, you can, they call it translating. You can, you can translate around pretty good with the drone camera. You can even make your viewers a little bit queasy now, now hang on you've just eaten something hang on this could be a little queasy for you Ooh, hey barrel rolling without barrel rolling yikes they made me queasy Yeah, you can't, I was going to say, let's go through the drainage ditch, but, you know, it's, you know, the illusion breaks down at some point, and the closer you get, these little vehicles running around are pretty neat. All right. So let's uh, head back over to our plane. Uh, it being Sunday, I was probably going to practice VOR and stuff using the, the old steam gauges. Old. Well, they are, you know, in, you know, compared to today's new fancy stuff. So I had been doing VOR lessons using the, the G1000. And a lot of people don't have access to the G1000 in the, the particular versions that they purchased. And they're like, yeah, but how do you use all this stuff, man? Can you show us how to use all this? Yeah, I will. We'll get, uh, I'm going to do some practice with this stuff and using that 
So basically, it's the the concept is still the same. We're going to be plugging in radio stations in instead of a, a GPS to look at. We're going to be using that, but it basically does the same thing. It tells us where it's at and which way to go. And uh, if you want to learn old school stuff, yeah, I guess it's best that we stick to this kind of stuff. There's a lot of things I still. Don't know. This is the uh, 152 Aerobat. And you'll notice that it's awfully quiet. That's because in my head I'm imagining that these are all electric planes. The uh, the engine noise just drives me nuts on, on every plane. I just, you know, noise sensitive, I guess. And uh, so I have all the engine noise off and... I'd rather hear the wind and stuff. So let's uh, get up into the air and, and fly around, tell your tell your ride a little bit, and uh, see what we can see. Tell Robert Redford hello. I'm making this for him. I'm sorry that I don't have an Uber system. If I had, you know, the finances, you know, like four hours with the finances that Robert Redford has. I would have a really nice computer. So Robert Redford and friends of Robert Redford. Uh, this let this be. I don't have a GoFundMe or anything like that. But uh, if you're willing to help out, and you would like me to make the absolute best videos I can, because you all have other things to do, and I'm not essential. And uh, then, you know, help me out. Do, 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 do contact me, ask for my PayPal, and uh, help me get a, a really good system. I should put up a GoFundMe. People are generous. I can also leave the PayPal link in the uh, in the description. So yeah, a really 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 good computer system, so I can uh, fly around Telluride and make 16k 10,000 by 10,000 pixel videos that are uh, you know a million gigs per minute and I would be happy to do so I would, I would love to run everything on uh, 16 times ultra Man, tell you right is gorgeous. Do, 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 do. It's not that far from here. Uh, it's always nice doing drives. I haven't been there in a long, long time. I don't really remember much. When you're younger, you don't pay attention to things. Where's the Wi-Fi? Well, we should probably get back in the cockpit. It looks like we might be getting in a little dangerous territory. They said this aerobat would be fantastic. If you like, you know, you do want to practice some aerobatic maneuvers. Get Immelman barrel rolls. They're like, get this do it to your heart's content that's what she was made to do and in general I think as a noob they should make more more like this and I guess they discontinued the line in the mid 80s that's what it says I think in the specs and uh but you know first time noob flyers should have this kind of structural integrity to begin with I mean stuff happens mistakes happen and if anybody needs that kind of extra security you know, if you screw up, and uh, believe me, I, I do all the time. And one of the worst things that happens to me is I get speed happy sometimes, and I overspeed. And I um, and I destroy the plane by overspeeding. And they're like, "Well, this thing will do six Gs," you know. And all of them, <laughs> all of the new planes that are trainers, should all be able to handle that. Because you're going to get in that position sooner or later. 
Well, at least that is my case. I, uh, I, I'm not a flying natural. If you are, that's awesome. You, uh, you have special DNA. Everything's all tilted down the side of the mountain. Wow. I get it, Mr. Redford. I get it. Is that your place over there? Uh, we used to have horses growing up. So, I mean, I, I actually, I get it now more than ever. I wish I still lived that, you know, I, I wish that's... That was still the life I had. Had. Um, again, you don't appreciate things when you're young. You don't want to, you know, at least me. I didn't want to be anywhere near farming stuff for horses or livestock. I wanted nothing to do with it. I wanted to be in the city, man. I wanted to be where things were happening and shaking. And I wanted to go, you know downtown and hang out downtown. I wanted comic book stores and movie theaters and video arcades. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. I'm a 2,000 man. And, uh, yeah, now, now that I get older, it's like, oh. Put on the Randy Travis, man. Let's saddle up a horse and let's get lost. Have you, have you seen that show Alone? And they send these people out to different areas and they're like, okay, survive. I'm not saying I would do well, but I want to sign up just, you know, I don't, I don't know that I'd want to come back. They're like, oh, I've been out here 30 days and I, I, I can't take it and, 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 and I miss coffee and, you know, and I, I'm mocking them because, you know, I'm not out there starving to death like some of them are. And I get it, you know, hey, I can't take it, I, you know, I gotta eat. And some of them really push themselves to the point where, you know, they're all sad that they, they have to leave because they have, like, you know, they didn't uh, do well in the survival part, like, keeping their, um, getting the right nutrients in and their bodies are deteriorating and they have to pull them for that reason too. I don't know that there's ever been anybody on any of these shows that comes out fatter than, than they left. I think that would be something I would want to try. Look at that. That's gorgeous. You know? So I've been checking out books on like eating everything. You know, uh, eat everything, consume everything, dig up everything, eat everything, every root, every, you know. <laughs> There's one guy that bagged a, a, a moose. He bagged a moose and they almost pulled him because he wasn't, he had all this meat, but it was, it's, it's awful lean and then the badgers kept stealing all the fat because they know that that's also what you need and he didn't and so they're like we might have to pull you why because you're losing too much weight and he's like but dude i'm i'm gorging on all this moose meat they're like yeah but you know just biologically speaking that's not the way your body works you still need fats and you're not consuming enough fat. So he started gathering all his fats together, you know, from his moose. And the badgers got it again. Or the, whatever they are, wolverines, badgers, either way, nasty little, nasty little suckers. Smart, very, very clever. I'm always mad at the ones who are like after you know the like winter starts rolling in, like I'm I'm freezing, man. 
It's like, yeah, well, you, you know, I get, I, I get really mad when they don't build really good shelters. And they're really lazy. I'm just going to lay here for 60 days. Because doing anything expends energy. And and they all, those people always usually end up dropping out anyway. I always see them, like Larry, I guess, that dude. I, I really like him, but I think he's just using it for a vacation. Because he always like, oh, I can't. Okay, I'm ready to go home now. Thanks. Thanks for sending me around the world. And get to hang out out here for a while and entertain you. And then I get to go home. Because you like me and they'll put me on the next episode, the next season, or you know the the grand challenge because because you you like me. I'm sorry, Larry. Especially when they freak out and they start arguing and it, trying to come up with excuses why. You know, especially when they started saying, "I'm doing this for the money. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my money. This is going to change everything." I've got this. I need to do this. I need I need to do this for my family. And then, you know, whatever, how many days in? I miss my family. It's more important than my family time. And I'm missing all this time with my family right now. I could be with them, and I just want to be tucking them in bed. And no amount of money is worth that. And I, I realize that now. I've grown emotionally. I've, I've, I've grown... This was this was a journey, and now I realize that you know money isn't everything, and and um, I'm sh I'm sure my family understands, and I'm sure his family's at home. What, what, what? They never show the follow, but the family. Ken was divorced by the time he got home. His children have filed for power of attorney. Yeah, at that point, your family doesn't want to see, if I can be so straight, your family doesn't want to see your ass. You just gave up like uh, what, half a million dollars or something like that. You're the last person they want to see when you do something like that. So if I ever get on one of those shows and, and come up with some lame excuse like that, I'm my cats need me more and my wife, she understands. She understands. She, I know that she will understand. No. No, she wouldn't. Uh, all of my belongings would be on, on the lawn. Like you... You walked away from how much money? Do you realize how many YouTube videos you're going to have to pump out to make that kind of money, you idiot? I don't care that you now weigh 20 pounds. You should have died on that hill. I love my wife, don't get me wrong, but she's very Vulcan, you know. But, but, well, I guess I should say she's more Romulan because she's got the emotional part. But at the same time, you know, she can very, be very, very logical. Well, you could have, you know, she'll just logic you to death. She's good. Ah, oh, there's a moon up there. Hopefully you're enjoying these. Um, I, again, am trying to find that fine line between uh, you know video quality and getting keeping Microsoft Flight Simulator running and um, now trying to get up into the 4k video area where but again I can't now turn up all the things to ultra so I can try to, to pump these out to where you, you can watch in HD or higher but now Mr. Redford I don't have that that computer system that will that will do it. Do you remember the Al Pacino movie Simone? And this guy creates this amazing computer system with the artificial intelligent woman and Al and gives you know ends up giving the the computer to Al Pacino who's like a Hollywood movie director that's not doing so well and he ends up creating all these 
Oscar award winning movies with the actress Simone and but she's not real and he doesn't want to tell the world that she's an AI and it was, back then for whatever reason that was <gasps> she's not real now it's like you know a, a YouTuber is doing that with some software that he's got my point with that is, is that was a really amazing computer system I know it's Hollywood and it's not real but then again there are computer geniuses out there and the computers that we're, we're using compared to the computers that some people on this planet have and have had for a long time and now how you know again like a Cray supercomputer but not a Cray supercomputer of 1970s and 80s you know who knows what Sun has now and some of these guys that have just been creating the uber computers since the 70s I'm 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 almost a hundred percent certain that any of them playing Microsoft Flight Simulator have a much better experience than, than, than any of us are having because they just know how you know they're probably uh, looking at, you know, uh, they can look it down to the, the tree needles, the pine needles. They're upset that the, that the, the tree bark textures aren't rendering 100% perfectly. That species of tree bark is not right. Did a video earlier the accolades well the uh, achievements they do have a huge long list of achievements that you can rack up in Microsoft Flight Simulator and I thought that's nice they also have badges but I don't have any stinking badges right now kind of got that HDR effect going on it, that is that is what happens in Colorado at these elevations, depending on your perspective and the way you're looking. Sometimes you could be looking at the horizon, and it 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 does it. It's so bright that it it kind of fades out like that, and it becomes ghost-like. You see that above the wind windshield, and if you change your elevation, you know your you tilt your head a little bit. I mean, the atmosphere does some strange things up here. So depending on the way I'm looking, that the screen might not look right to you, but it actually is. It's more right than you know. I don't know that... Uh, I know that Robert Redford loves this place. I, I don't remember if John Wayne did. I think he was... He had different areas in Colorado that he liked. I want to say Central City, but I can't remember now. I know that one of the locations in Rooster, Rooster Cogburn is just, uh, that place is still there. As far as I know, it even still looks the same. So you can go stand on, you know, pretty much the old, near the old courthouse and line things up and, yeah, Rooster Cogburn. But I know that John Wayne lo loved the, the land out here, too, and um, had particular spots that he loved. I can't remember the specific... I think he owned, like, a specific range area, a valley area. I have to ask the family again. I forget. I wish he were still around. I mean, he'd be really, 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 really old. But I wish... The young John Wayne were still around. I really liked that guy. I love his old movies. And on uh, Hulu and every now and then some of the other ones, they uh, they have his really, really old ones. I mean, you know, were the 
older guys in the uh, pr production, they're calling him kid. Yeah, he, I didn't realize that he had been making movies from the time that pretty much he was a teenager. He is so young in some of these films, and just, wow. He was an impressive dude. I mean, he was an impressive kid. And back then, they were more, they were really still more cowboy than, um, what I'm trying to say is that he actually was kind of a cowboy things were way more cowboy like back then and you know his writing ability and his the, the way he handles himself just everything uh, he was pretty darn good with all that action as a young man they said it has this nice roof so that when you do aerobatics you can you can see I hope you don't mind that we've just been aimlessly flying around in the Telluride area I'm sorry I haven't been uh, doing so many drone views But it does get a little tight in here. I don't even know where the airport's at at this point. We don't have a GPS. <laughs> Robert Redford used to be the man. It's nice seeing him still doing stuff, that's for sure. I mean, and he still looks good. I don't know how much that's just, you know, Hollywood. But he's in S.H.I.E.L.D. now and is, as one of the directors. Or was, or I don't remember if he was the bad guy or not. It was just, hey, that's Robert Redford. But boy, he was the man back in the 70s. The Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid days. Jeremiah Johnson. Wasn't he uh, all the president's men with Al Pacino? Won't an, uh, won't an electric motor plane be so much better? Isn't this nice? If they can drive, uh, I mean drive, I mean by power. They can drive super sports cars now. And before, even the diehards, even the Top Gear guys, you know, in the early days, they're like, yeah, it's all right. And now they're just like, oh my gosh, this is, it's amazing. It's amazing driving the new electric super sports cars. Not just sports cars, super, 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 super uber mensch sports cars. And, you know, even the Teslas now, you know, on like uh, ultra burst mode or whatever they call it. Amazing speeds, amazing torque, amazing power. So, yeah, uh, to be able to have all these lines of airplanes. You know, I was talking about what it's going to be like in 30 years with the next Microsoft. The next, you know, they usually like 20 years or so many years in between the next big one. But uh, how many of the planes in the next big ones will be electric? How long will the com these these engines, you know, be around? Right now, I don't think there are any electric engines in this version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Wow. Ritzy, people that own these houses right down there on the water. 
it's gonna be nice. I was wondering where the airport was. I'm like, oh, that, I should have paid attention. And just off our port nose, Mr. Redford, do you see that blinking beacon? Just follow that uh, blue gauge, the, hor uh, the horizon indicator. Oops, heard me. Yeah, I think the nose is a little too high. Yeah, just straight up from our attitude indicator, right, right there. I was wondering, oh man, I'd really like to put her down and end this video and not just end in the sky saying, well, that was, that was Telluride. Mr. Eastwood, Mr. Red, Mr. Redford. I'm glad Clint Eastwood is still around. I don't know how much longer, but man. That's going to be a sad day. Another person that had been making uh, television and movies since he was a the kid. He was the kid. Another one I'm going to be sad for, William Shatner. I can't say I'm up to being your uh, private pilot, Mr. Redford, but uh, hey, I'll do it, you know, I've, I've got nothing better to do, and uh, if you need somebody, you know, as a, the very last person you should ever call, I'm there, uh, I'll do it. If Scarlett Johansson needs a ride, went off on the uh, about this last night on my trip to Aspen to find Scarlett Johansson. If she needs a ride, just let her know I'm available. Uh, it would be an adventure if she's looking for an adventure and you know that death-defying risk. I'm definitely the person there. The death-defying is going to be included. Um, I'm hearing, uh, I've heard that they don't, you know, they're not, unless they've really, really, really mapped the Bing uh, area with Bing, that, you know, sometimes these buildings aren't 100% right. Wow, that's nice over there. So, Mr. Redford and uh, other Hollywood stars who might be checking this out, um, you guys definitely have access to people with drones, and, you know, you have the money to send people out with drones. Have them call Microsoft. And uh, send your people out around this area with the, the ultra high definition cameras on these drones and um, become like the 750th partner with Microsoft and uh, put it on the market. So they're already putting in like, you know, other airports where people are doing custom work. I've got Den I bought this premium deluxe because it has Denver and as soon as I open up the marketplace there's hey the add-ons for Denver to make it look better oh you 
So I was a little miffed by that, but I understand it. That's, that's, that's the way it works. So, yeah, if this doesn't look the way you would like it to, to look, um, they would be happy to hear from you, I'm, I'm certain. And uh, I'm sure they would be happy to work with your people and use uh, the best possible data that they, that they can. And uh, again, a lot of it's done being done by like Bing, those Bing cars that drive around and map things from the ground. So the same concept, just UHD drones. I'll definitely need that better system. I was so embarrassed for this older gentleman last night. I felt so bad for him. They hooked him up on a system. They're like, and he's a real like jetliner pilot, 747 pilot. And the big jets aren't study level. They're not 100%. So he was a little bit upset that it wasn't fully computerized because he flies a fully computerized one. And the, the reason why I was sad for him is uh, he had to try to, to, to do it manually. And that's not the way that they're trained. It's, you know, it's, the computer does everything. And so the old guy had a horrible time. He... He, in my opinion, he looked really bad. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not making fun of him. But he botched it so bad. He botched it so, so bad. He couldn't land that, he could not land that airplane uh, straight down the center line. He bounced it, he slammed the tail into the ground. They kept cutting. I felt so bad for him. And then the system they were on, that they had him on, it seemed a little bit glitchy too, you know. It was kind of micro stuttering on him. But still, he botched it. He botched it. He botched it. I have been learning on the Jets, and maybe I'll do one today. I still want to do some VOR training with the steam gauges and the, the old radios like this. But I have been studying, Mr. Redford. I've been uh, studying the Jets. And uh, if you don't do it every day, you forget really quickly. And I've already forgotten really quickly. I've been concentrating on, on the small planes a lot more. Uh, but I've done it. I've done it, I've done it. And I've uh, successfully flown, landed, done ILS with the, the Jets. Um, not 100%. And again, they're like, well, you still don't know how to use all the other stuff. Well, I can fly it and I can land it. And if everything else works right, we'll get there. It goes back to, you know, Mr. Redford, I don't want to be the guy in the zombie apocalypse that lets everybody down. You know? They make it to the plane, and somebody says, well, how hard can it be? And then he, he kills everybody. Or he kills himself. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that, you know. Or, it, God forbid, I don't ever really want to be that guy that's in the uh, one of those scenarios where, uh, do we have any pilots on board? Uh, 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 uh. Well, the first message would be, do we have any doctors on board? And then a few more minutes, do we have any pilots on board? Um, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Don't we all have that fantasy playing these, uh, flying the flight simulators? Especially when you get to the, yes, I, I can do this. Really, how many? <laughs> do, you have, do you have your? What licenses do you have? Uh, 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 I got 
the the Rod Machado Microsoft Flight Simulator X certificate. Oh yeah, good times. Okay, so this was uh, getting us new flights, doing Telluride, Colorado, and I'll uh, get things rebooted, restarted, refreshed, and ready to go for another video. Again, probably going to do VOR. We'll be back in Colorado Springs at KFly, Meadow Lake. And uh, this is what you do. You know, pick your area that, that, that you're going to train at. And chances are there's going to be a, a small stretch of land around that airport that they're going to lock you down into to fly around a while. And so you learn really quickly, well, I've got this radio station here and this video over here, and you just make yourself practice circuits. And you learn how to dial in the radio and follow the needle and get to it and then dial the radio to another frequency and go back to that one and just fly your circuit because they're going to make you fly your circuit anyway. So get used to just waking up on a Sunday morning or every morning and just go fly your circuit for a little while. Sure, you can go explore every part of the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You sure can. You can fly a circuit anywhere. But uh, I like flying the uh, the area that they are, if I go to Meadow Lake to take the, the flight school, they're going to confine me to that anyway, so I'm just getting used to it. Yeah. All right. Again, Thanks a lot. Catch you on the next video.